Welcome to ESL's Go4 SC2 number 46 finals, sponsored by Steel Series. I'm your caster Kessel, and today we're going to have game two between Naiden, who's going to be spawning as Green Protoss at the bottom, and he's going to be playing against Goody, who's going to be spawning as the purple Terran at the right. And this is going to be on Lost Temple. Uh, one of my favorite maps actually and this is game two as I've said before game one actually ended with Goody just siege tanking it up turtling up getting a lot of missile turrets and getting that early harass to destroy a couple of these probes just really hurt Naiden in the end and Naiden just couldn't keep up with the economy that Goody had and in the end he just couldn't get enough immortals to deal with the with the siege tanks but now this is game two, and Goody is starting to build his uh, his blockage over here on the ramp. But not before that probe sees where Goody is, and Goody is going to start attacking this probe over here, getting a barracks kind of out of position, actually, not walling off. And the probe is going to get away, and he's going to continue to be able to scout over here. Meanwhile, a gateway is going up for Nighton, and... Naiden is just continuing to scout out relatively early. They are spawning relatively close. And it looks like a refinery is going up for Goody. He is getting that refinery relatively the same time that he did last time. And we'll see if he continues to build Marauders or if he's going to go Reapers. Naiden getting his gas as well as soon as he saw the, the gas going up for Goody in response. So he can get early Stalkers out. And the probe just continuing to get run, uh, play ring around the rosy with this SCV, and this SCV finally gives up and says, "Screw it, I'm just gonna mine." And the marine is getting pumped out of that barracks right now, but that not before that probe gets away. And now it looks like Goody is bringing his SCV into Nighton's base as well to see what's going on. And Cyber Next Corps is coming out for Nighton. Goody just kind of sitting there seeing what's going on inside Nighton's base so he's probably not going to go Reapers now instead getting that second gas and he is probably going to get factory units. That gas just finishing up that orbital command just coming down and a mule just going down for uh, Goody and Nighton just getting his first stalker out just chrono boosting out and he is getting a second gateway as well a factory going up for Goody, so we're probably going to see siege tanks now that he has two gas. Uh, that's a really standard play for Terrans. If you want to go siege tanks, you want to get those double gas because you need those all the gas you can to get both siege tanks and the siege mode. Or and this late in the game, Hellions are usually not viable unless you see a lot of zealots on the field. And it looks like Naiden just moving that stalker over here to the Zelnaga watchtower over here. And Goody just continuing to scout all over the place to make sure no hidden expansions are in night in for Naiden anywhere. More pylons going up and more units being produced. Warp gate is being researched right now. More stalkers are coming out and they're standing right next to the watchtower just watching making sure nothing is going on. Goody does have a cup bunker over at his ramp and he has a couple marines posted in there as well. Attack lab going up for Goody so it looks like Siege Tanks is going to be in the agenda for today. Or he might actually use that for the Banshees but he is getting that Siege Tank out of the factory and he isn't getting Siege Mode yet. Oh there he goes he is getting Siege Mode now. And Starport is going up as well. Let's see what kind of re if he is going to build any kind of add-on to the Starport. But right now it looks like there isn't any add-ons. And the bunker getting hit a couple times, so Goody is pulling off a couple SCPs up here. Stalker's just waiting to charge up their shield and then backing off once again. Naiden trying to put it on some early pressure, but Goody has a solid ramp defense over here. So Naiden isn't going to be able to do much. Warp Gate is almost done, and Naiden actually doesn't have very many, uh, very many universes. Economy isn't that good, and it looks like a Stargate is going up over. Where is that? Oh, the Stargate's going on over here. 
So Naiden this time is going to hide his own tech over in the corner. And the SCV, I don't think he spotted it. Unless I'm... Yep, that SCV has Our not SCVs spotted are under attack. that Stargate. So this is going to be surprise tech for Goody. Goody getting a, one Viking and a Meta back. So we'll see if Naiden will be able to do anything. A board rate coming out of that Stargate. He is pumping it out with Chrono Boost. Siege tanks are up now. Siege, ta Siege tech is up in it. Goody is just macroing up hardcore inside his base. There are not... Naiden's economy is not that good though. So we'll see if the economy of Goody is going to overtake Naiden's units if he can't do anything with these units he's going to be in big trouble but there are a couple void rays coming out and this could be really bad for goody i don't think he still has not spotted this yet and if he doesn't spot this soon he's going to be in serious trouble and goody loading up a couple siege tanks and marines and scvs inside this medevac so a drop is probably going to go down for goody over at the over probably over here and he is moving it all around the map. And the board rays are finally out. Two board rays are out. And they're going to start charging up on that supply depot. Now this is before patch 1.1.2. So those board rays are going to do amazing damage to armor. So the board ray keeping itself charged on its own unit. And that board ray almost gets taken out. And that Viking is going to be able to push away those board rays. So... Medivac unable to uh, unable to drop instead bringing his units back and he is getting a missile turret over here more board rays getting pumped out of the stargate and goody is getting missile turrets over here and that missile turret is almost done those board rays uh, more vikings getting pumped out of the out of the starport over here and goody just continuing to harass Naiden's board raid, and he's going to be able to take out one of these board raids. Meanwhile, a couple board raids over here taking out this command center, and will they be able to take it out? They do take it out, and they're trying to take out as many of these Marines as possible. Those Vikings are going to do amazing damage from that Viking. And the C6 have seized up, and they're going to take out a couple of these Stalkers over here. And, oh, it's just... Naiden just trying to get stalk his stalkers over here, but he isn't going to be able to do anything. High sec auto tracking going up for Goody, and he is continuing to get more missile turrets all over the place. He is going to land a couple Vikings over here to try and take out that starport. Probably. Instead, getting that siege tank over here, it's going to start shelling away at that starport, but not before Void Ray comes out, but that Void Ray is in serious trouble. It won't be able to do much. And what Naiden has switched tech, getting more gateways, getting revised facility with immortals, but not before losing this Stargate. Ooh, he almost he is gonna lose the Stargate. There's no way he's not. But that board rate did manage to live. So this might be an advantage. But there are still a lot of Vikings on the field. There are missile turrets up. And Naiden just trying to produce another board raid before the, the, the Stargate goes down, but that siege tank is just yelling away at that Stargate. More Immortals getting pumped out, more Zelda getting pumped out, and a reactor going on top of the the reactor, or on the starport over here, so it's going to be more medevacs, more Vikings for Goody. Goody is also getting a reactor on top of his factory here, so we're going to see a lot of Hellions as well. And both players just content to sit back and watch what's er uh, and macro up. Creek Niter is being researched. More siege tanks are getting pumped out. And now Goody is going to put in more Marines and his siege tank inside the medevac to do another drop. Niden getting a lot of immortals here though, so if he can get enough immortals, he can actually push in. He has also a lot of stalkers over here. So if he can get walk these immortals up and just take out this wall off over here, he could have a huge advantage. But Goody is getting a couple Vikings to scout out, getting the medevac to drop. And if he can get a good drop, then he is going to probably drop over here at the high uh, at the expansion over here. 
this is going to prevent Naiden from being able to expand. Naiden has not expanded yet, and this is going to be a real problem for Naiden. He did get that Twilight Council. He is getting blink for those Stalkers. And Goody getting that Missile Turret over here as, as, so, to protect this expand or this small strike force preventing the natural from going on. Uh, SCV trying to scout out and it looks like Night In did manage to get, hide a probe and he is putting a nexus over here at the left base. The Vikings are starting to head back now that he, the missile turrets are safely inside Night In's base but Night In is getting that expansion over here and they're, Night In is starting to get a lot of units but oh, one of the borders actually do go down there are a lot of Vikings on the field and Night In just cannot hold, cannot, uh, just can't lose these, the Void Rays, because these are really expensive and they can be very powerful if used properly. An observer flying over to see what's going on inside Goody's base, and there are just a lot of siege tanks. Once again, Goody getting a good defensive position over here on the high ground. And a couple Hellions actually inside the medevac, so we're going to see some drops going on from Goody getting probably putting inside of uh Niden's base but Niden is getting a lot of units right now he has a lot of stalkers he's a lot of immortals he's got a couple zealots as well as that one void ray so it's now or never Niden might need to push in soon because that economy is just going through the roof for Goody and Niden just hasn't gotten his probes out at his expansion is getting really mined out and those hellions actually did get dropped in and they are going to take out several of these probes these probes are going to be forced to, uh, are going to be forced to move away a lot of these probes are getting taken out those hellions do die to this force more hellions getting moved in and night in just trying to get a couple zealots couple of, uh, stalkers over here but those hellions are going to just burn away all of these probes now, Nighted is in serious trouble. Losing all those probes has uh, took a, meant a very serious hit for for Nighted, and Nighted just needs to push in somehow, some way. And it looks like a, a stray immortal did get taken out by these siege tanks. There are just a lot of siege tanks, and this could be serious trouble. Goody trying to take it. Oh, a blink does go down for Nighted. He's gonna be able to get all these stalkers inside Goody's base. And if Goody can just get. Oh, another blink does go down. And Goody is losing. He's starting to lose all his siege tanks. All these immortals are starting to walk up here. And oh, if the stalkers are barely living, just blinking right on top of these siege tanks. And there are they gonna be able to. Yes, they are gonna be able to take out most of the siege tanks. And now. The mortals are here to heal the damage from the rest of these units. Night is just a desperate call getting his SCVs over here to try and take out the mortals. But Night is just warping out more units, getting more zealots. Those Vikings are did manage to eat away those zealots. And Night in, oh man, Night in just couldn't deal with all those Vikings, all those siege tanks that just got pumped out. And Night in does GG. So, game two, once again, goes to Goody. And if Nighten doesn't have a different plan, he's going to be losing this series 3-0. So, thank you guys for watching. I know I stuttered a lot because I haven't slept. So, I'm going to probably go to bed and then do the rest of these games. Thank you for watching. Once again, please subscribe to YouTube.com slash Kessel Gamer. That's K-E-S-L Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Kessel, signing out.